Cohort Study and Research In this video, you will learn what is a cohort study, types of cohort study, stages of cohort study, when to conduct a cohort study, advantages of cohort studies, disadvantages of cohort studies, characteristics of a strong cohort study. So let's get started. What is a cohort study? An observational study known as a cohort study analyses a group of individuals over time to investigate the effects of various factors, such as exposure to a particular risk factor, on the participants' health outcomes. Individuals share a characteristic or lived experience, such as birth year or geographic location. Cohort studies are observational, longitudinal studies that look into health outcomes and risk factors that are predictive. Researchers are interested in factors that are already present in the study group they are looking into. Participants in the study are observed over time. The disease incidence within the exposed group is compared with that within the unexposed group. Can only identify a correlation between a risk factor and disease, not the cause due to their observational nature. Valuable for identifying risk factors for illnesses. Frequently employed in areas such as medicine and healthcare research, since they can assist researchers in identifying effective methods to help prevent or treat the disease. Cohort studies are an effective method for doing research in human populations. They are a form of longitudinal study design. Longitudinal studies are studies that track participants throughout time. People in cohort studies often share certain features, such as their geography or age. In a cohort study, participants provide information to the researchers so they can build a more comprehensive picture of the group that they are studying. Researchers ask questions to learn about the group's demographics or traits like age and race. Additionally, they might collect data on the following factors, a medical, a biological, environmental, social, genetic, psychological. Types of cohort study prospective cohort studies and retrospective cohort studies are two of the many different cohort study types, including open, closed, and dynamic. Prospective cohort studies. Data is gathered over time to compare the occurrence of the desired result in individuals exposed to the risk factor versus those who were not. This can assist in determining whether the risk factor and the result could be related. Investigate the relationship between exposure and outcome by looking forward in time. In prospective cohort studies, two groups, exposed and unexposed, are followed over time to observe new disease development. Example of prospective cohort studies. Researchers compared four groups of women, two at risk and two low risk, to determine the likelihood of developing PTSD symptoms following a birthing event. Retrospective cohort studies. Participants must already have the condition or health outcome being researched before participating. After then, the study focuses on examining the health results of people who have similar exposure to the risk factor throughout time. Investigate the relationship between the outcome and the exposure by looking backwards in time. In retrospective cohort studies, cohorts are defined from a previous time point with no future follow-up. Data is collected from past records to investigate outcomes, useful for diseases with long latency periods. Example of retrospective cohort study. Researchers use pre-existing data to examine the potential association between birth experiences and subsequent maternal caregiving attitudes and behaviors over a 12-month time frame. For your research, a cohort study might be useful if a strong hypothesis exists that links an exposure to an outcome. A you are comfortable and able to support research that takes a longer period to complete, and you have access to a huge pool of research subjects. A the relationship between the exposure and the health result under consideration is not well understood, or the long-term effects have not been thoroughly examined. A there is not too much time between exposure and outcome, 
raising the possibility of participant attrition and increasing study costs. Either the exposure you're examining is uncommon, or you can be unable to conduct a conventional experiment design due to ethical concerns. The outcome isn't that unusual. Stages of a study cohort. The first step in a cohort study is to choose a group of participants, or cohort, from the same population who do not already have the outcome being studied, but may eventually develop it. All of the participants need to be identical, which means sharing just their exposure status. The participants are divided into two groups. The first is the exposure group, while the second is not exposed. When to conduct a cohort study? Cohort studies are a form of observational study that can be both qualitative and quantitative. Depending on the research topic, they can be used for both explanatory and exploratory research. Advantages of cohort studies A cohort studies directly investigate the risk of disease and its contributing factors. Ethically safe research design Allow measurement of multiple outcomes. A suitable for studying rare exposures, such as exposure to chemical spills in factory. An effective method for establishing cause and effect relationships. A large sample sizes allow for confident conclusions about the link between risk factors and disease. A useful for identifying timelines over which behaviors contribute to disease. A can provide valuable insights into long term health outcomes. Disadvantages of cohort studies A not suitable for rare diseases or those with long development times, like mesothelioma. Inappropriate for studying multiple exposures simultaneously. A complex, time-consuming, and expensive to conduct, especially when collecting prospective data over many years. A risk of bias due to participant dropouts and potential alterations in behavior because of study awareness. Our analysis of data from large-scale studies can be challenging due to numerous confounding variables. A lack of randomization in some cohort studies reduces their robustness compared to randomized controlled trials. A retrospective cohort studies, while less time-consuming, are prone to sampling bias and missing data and may have lower quality data fields. What are the characteristics of a strong cohort study? A justification for the sample size is given, and it is evident how the sample population was selected, along with the inclusion and exclusion criteria. The sample group is a true representation of the population that it is taken from. The study's objective is clearly stated. The participants who fail to follow up are reported and given explanations. Of the control group selection process, whether they were from the same sample population, and if they were matched or randomized to prevent bias and confounding are all explained in detail. It is clearly indicated whether or not the study was blinded, i.e. whether the investigators knew how the subject and control groups were assigned. There was strict adherence to methodology. Conclusion Cohort studies are fundamental to epidemiological research, providing insights into disease risk factors by analyzing data from thousands of participants over long periods. Disease prevention guidelines, widely adopted by healthcare professionals globally. Valuable in nursing research, investigating factors influencing student progression and nurses' career development. However, conducting cohort studies poses challenges due to their scale, complexity, and duration. But with careful planning and implementation, Cohort studies can significantly contribute to the advancement of evidence-based healthcare.